Hi, let's do a little children's church. Would you pray with me? Hello, Lord. Today I'm out feeling a little sleepy. When I sing our praise songs, I hope I wake up more. Thank you for always being awake at any time, day or night, and listening to my prayers. You are wonderful because you can listen to every prayer in the whole wide world. You are amazing, Lord. Amen. Let's do some singing and clapping. Good job. Now, we have been studying where we could easily find books in the Bible. We started with the first five of the books of the New Testament and the last five of the books of the New Testament. Today, I'd like to show you some closer to the middle. As you can see, there are lots of them. There are 13 books that Paul, the Apostle Paul, letters sent to um, each of these places where the, a church had been started. So. Let's not do all 13 all at once. I have highlighted some of them and they all start with T. Let's work with the six that all start with T. Do you see them? First Thessalonians, second Thessalonians, first Timothy, second Timothy, Titus, and could we just add Philemon? Because when we sing the song, it fits so nicely. Let's try singing the song. First and second, Thessalonians, first and second, Timothy, Titus, and Philemon. See how nicely Philemon sits in there. Try it again. First and second, Thessalonians, first and second, Timothy, Titus, and Philemon. As you start studying those, the six of them, remember they all start with T. So get busy studying those. Now, once again, we want to know if some students have got their Bible verses that we've been working on memorized. When we call on somebody, they are allowed to use their paper of the pictures to remind them. So to whom will we Zoom today? You'll see. Hi, today we are Zooming to Laura's house. And Laura knows one of the Bible verses. So, hi, Laura. Hi. Good, remember to talk nice and loud. And which verse are you gonna do? I guess, good, she's using her paper to, for those suggestions. And we are ready, Laura. In my father's house, there are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I will prepare a place for you. Good. And where's that from? John 14, 2. Excellent. Good job. And you learned that by using your paper, right? With the pictures? Good job. Laura, you really have hidden God's word in your heart. Bye for now.
And for this week's missionary report, we are back in Rwanda, Africa with Gary and Lori. I promised you I'd tell you what it is that Gary and Lori teach, but remember how we showed you an example last time of what kids teach sometime, how to tie their shoe. Watch again. Make a teepee, go inside, close it up so you can hide, make a mountain, go around the mountain and push through an arrow and there's your bow. Jonah, let's try that one more time. Ready? Make a teepee, go inside, close it up so you can hide, make a mountain, Go around and push through an arrow. And there's your bow. I bet if you've ever taught somebody how to tie their shoe, you were really happy and smiling a lot if they really learned it. Now, back to Gary and Lori. In Rwanda, it's a small country, but there must be over 80 churches in that country. And Gary and Lori have found that many of the churches are in charge by a person that doesn't know too much about the Bible. They wanted to lead the church, but they don't know that much about the Bible. And Gary and Lori offer a teaching program that will teach those pastors that are brand new pastors much, much about the Bible and about Jesus and saving us. See how happy these people are in these pictures when they say to themselves, boy, I get it now. I understand what Jesus meant in the scriptures. Or I never knew it before as much as I know it now. And they can smile. As I said, teaching can really make you smile when someone understands what you're saying. May the grace of Christ, the G-R-A-C-E, God's riches at Christ's expense, be with our spirit. See you next time.